Hi, I'm Phil Constantine, and this is Travels with Phil, and in this episode, we're going to Cape Hatteras National Seashore. Now, this is the offshore, or the outer banks in North Carolina. There's Kitty Hawk, where the Wright Brothers made their first flight all the way down to Cape Hatteras down here, about 60 miles apart. Nice uh, road going out there, some good views of the beach, a couple of different islands out there, so you see an occasional bridge, some nice wildflowers in uh, different spots if you happen to be out there at the right time of year, lots of water sports going on. And then eventually get to the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Now the lighthouse is over on the right hand side of this picture here. And this is what it looks like, uh, the original drawings. Now it was originally put up in 1803. It's gone through a couple of variations uh, since then. But basically it's a your typical lighthouse. Now the pattern that you see there, this is when it was on the beach. And eventually they decided, well, it's being washed away. The beach is being washed away, so they moved it. They moved it in about 2,900 feet. It's now 1,500 feet inland. So the, <laughs> I like it. What Lighthouse crossing, be careful. That's the path they took and where it used to be. Now you can see uh, from this overhead view where it's at now. That's Cape Hatteras, the actual point. And here we are at the lighthouse itself. Now this is a fairly tall, uh, right around 200 feet. It's the largest brick lighthouse in uh, the United States, maybe North America. Every lighthouse has a different pattern here in the United States. Now 269 nine steps. It's it's a bit of a, a climb to get all the way up to the uh, top deck and that's what it looks like from down on the ground. And once you actually make it all the way up there, this is what it looks like. One of the panoramas uh, I put together, the Atlantic Ocean and then part of the Cape itself. And so it's a really nice view. In fact, let's go to a video. Travels with Phil continues from Cape Hatteras. And this is the view from the lighthouse at the top of the right lighthouse. Now initially the lighthouse, uh, the light itself was run with whale oil and now it's electricity and they have the Fresno lenses up there which is sort of focus the beat. Yeah, it's a bit windy up on top. Had a hard time keeping my hat on. Is the Outer Banks. Stretching off into the distance. Looking north. is the Atlantic Ocean. And this is what the Cape itself looks like from the lighthouse. There's a little bit of marsh. This is where they do the ranger talks. And again, looking over toward uh, the uh, town itself. Uh, this was uh, either Tropical Storm or Hurricane Anna, so it's very pretty out there on the beach itself, but it can get windy. Lots of ships have gone down out there. Now, getting around to the offshore uh, Outer Banks area, it takes a ferry and uh, lots and lots of ferries out there and had to go on a couple of them uh, to get to uh, where I was trying to go. Lots of birds follow the uh, boats around, hoping that you will feed them. And uh, I like seagulls. Uh, yeah, colorful characters out there. North Carolina flags created our own waves here from the bow. And uh, more birds, uh, lots and lots of birds out there. And these offshore uh, little uh, sandbars out there, that's one of the reasons of the lighthouse, uh, the uh, Diamond Shoals, they had anywhere between 100 and 1,000 ships maybe that have uh, grounded themselves. I like this little kid. Oh, the joy of a small child. Travels with Phil, a little boy enjoying the birds while we wait for the ferry. And the other thing to see is the beautiful, beautiful beach itself. So really, really nice place to be out here on the Atlantic Ocean on the western, eastern side of North Carolina. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to leave comments down below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, just click on the button over on the right hand side. Thank you very much.